welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott, these are the inverts. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so, it does really, really help me out. And if you're watching on your phone, turn it sideways, down in the corner, you'll see the Scott's Inverts logo. That is also a subscribe button. Now today, we're gonna to be looking at how to set up a Dubia Roach colony. And it's so, so simple. People keep spending so much money on roaches and you can just get them set up, breeding at home, job done now what do you need you need a container there's a container you also need <coughs> these egg, egg crates now with the egg crates put them together like that don't worry i shall show you a close-up in a second and then put those inside your box the bottom of the box i've got scott's oats hey okay, so my oats are in the bottom now the scottish oats um and then i've also got little pinches of fish fish flakes not, not a lot of fish flake, just a little bit goes in there. And then you also want a few dog biscuits. And what they also like, to, like to, as a water source is juicy fruits. So grapes, strawberries, oranges. Cut a few of those up, put them in there, monitor them, make sure you don't leave them in there for too long so that they go mouldy. And that is basically it. That is phenomenal. But that's my setup that I'm doing today. Um, I'm not going to put a lid on this because Dubia roaches can't climb up the side so that is absolutely perfect for me. Um, but if you do if you do think about not putting a lid on, something to think about is when you put these egg crates in, don't lean them right up against the side, don't let them come up to the top because then the Dubia roaches will be able to crawl out. Now the perfect ratio is five males to 20 females. Now these are the males. So you can see their long wings looking like a shield going all the way down the back. So they're the males. So we're going to put those in there. And now the females. These are the females. You see they've got tiny, tiny wings on what would be their shoulders. And that's how you distinguish between male and female. Now, you, like I said, you do want the ratio to be about five males to 20 females. That keeps the aggression down in the males and keeps the breeding activities really, really good. But these guys are so, so easy to set up. You just want to keep them just above room temperature and if possible keep them in the dark because if they're in the dark they feel secure they will breed a lot lot more so with all that said let me bring you down and i'll show you this very very simple setup so guys that is it and there's there's some females look see the tiny little wings on the back and then with the males big big shield like wings and now again you want about five males to 20 females and i've got some grapes in there for the water source today and like i said i do check on the fruit that's in there every couple of days just to make sure it's still fresh there's all of scottish oats which if you've not seen those before it's just simple oats <clears throat> they're not very expensive they're really really cheap mixed in with a bit of fish food in the bottom and then um, a couple of dog biscuits go in as well. And that's it. This is simple as that. But look at the little guys. They're absolutely all over the place. So that's a Dubia Roach colony. It's just a small colony we started up because that will get bigger and bigger. And we'll be able to move it then into a bigger, bigger box. Now, what's not advertised in the title of this video, because I really, really want it to be... Um, subscribers is Aaron has donated a starter colony of Dubia Roaches. This will be going into the subscriber giveaway um, which is a video that will be coming out at the weekend along with a HMAC so far. So what a, what an amazing gift. Um, so thank you very much for Aaron. Um, his Instagram and everything else will be on the um, giveaway video which will be coming out again at this weekend. So if you're not subscribed please subscribe because I won't be advertising that one uh, across Facebook, it's just purely going to be for subscribers. 
And if you are subscribed and you've not hit that notification bell, give it a ding dong. <laughs> give it a ding dong. Give, give Scott's inverse bell a ding dong. But yeah, and again, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe as it does really, really help me out. And get setting up. I want to see your setups. Go onto my Facebook page, Scott's Inverts. Let me see your setups. Show me what you're doing with yours. Let's see. Let's see if I'm doing anything different to you guys. You might be doing something different to me. But it works. You know, we all do. We all have variations on these things. And nine times out of ten, it all works. But yeah, that's a Doobie, Doobie Roach colony. All set up, ready to go. Should be breeding again. Keep these just above room temperature. So you want to be about 25, 26 in a little dark spot and you cannot go wrong. And as always guys, we shall see you again on the next one. Do be a roaches.